Are we taking off? I don't Standing know by this for, a uh, for uh, a liftoff. Um, Important podcast about to engage. To, uh, to Control Center, we are uh, standing by for your instructions. Houston, I can't close my suit. Houston, my suit is too small. Houston, uh, Houston, I'm bored. Could we... Keep filling, guys, keep filling, keep oh, okay. vamping, keep vamping. Keep vamping. We, we have uh, to get I'm working this. on it. We can't get in there, we can't fix that suit, you're gonna have to live with that. Is there a in-flight movie? Houston, the theme song is slowed down 3,000% somehow. <laughs> um... Welcome to podcast. Very important. Was that it? That's the new theme song. We got Sun O to do our theme song for season three. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Oh, theme song. There we go. Oh, thank God. Podcast. Very important. What's happening? Let's fight. After 20 hours of technical difficulties, podcast. Very important is here. After a thousand hours in the dojo, ain't nothing that can keep the podcast down. Everybody dance. Ready? Yeah! Welcome to Podcast Very Important, the only podcast you should be listening to. Each week we count down the top ten number one most important things that you need to know about any given subject. And our subject this week is... Self defense. Kia. Hi. That's right. Today we're talking about self defense. It's a very mean world out there, and we need to get ready for it. My name is Connor Doyle, and with me are my two best buds, Shane Cooley and Jack Piss. Action Jack Piss. Action Jack Piss. I uh, I have a couple ideas. No preamble, wow. Shane. I oh have a my ideas. goodness! So, okay, now listeners, for any listeners who are new, sometimes Shane will get one of these bad boys, and all I'm gonna say is hold on to your lunch, uh, because when Shane has one of these ideas of his, things. Do tend to happen. Shane? Send us a picture of you holding on to your lunch if you do do that. Oh, the listeners. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. A drink guess? is not am a I lunch. Do we have a guest? Am I being rude? We do have a guest. <laughs> in here in the uh, studio with us is... Uh, yeah, it's Craig. It's Craig oh, okay. from Don't... the back. He's back. Back yeah, I'm back. sort of a normal introduction for me. Okay, well, Craig actually said that some really exciting and strange and weird stuff had happened to him. That's why I invited him back on the podcast, because last time it was very normal. So I'm just hoping Craig has some interesting things going on. Craig, How defend I- yourself. From these accusations against abnormality, I... No, uh, and this. Ow. <laughs> Quick, here comes an ad hominem attack. Uh... Listen, I w- it was weird. I went to the grocery store and I bought a bag of apples. And what were they like? Were they like yeah. were they like grapples, like the grape flavored apples? Were they like? Did you bite into it? And it was like filled with worms. Like so what? Like um, maybe they're Macintosh, candy apples. I think they said. Oh, like, like a computer. Yeah. Uh, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, I went and I bought them, <laughs> oh, and I had uh, I had a twenty dollar bill, and they cost a dollar ninety five. Uh, shut up, Craig. What's so your favorite movie? So when I gave it to the cashier, she gave me back. Shut up, Craig. Shut up, Craig. Okay. What's your favorite movie? What's your favorite movie, Craig? Oh, Mars Attacks. Ah, reasonable, normal. It's pretty cool. Oh. It's fine. Mm-hmm. All right, so this is a good movie. I have a couple ideas. Defense. <clears throat> As the wise Sun Tzu said to me personally, uh, surprise but- attack, Shane. Yeah. Stop hit stop um, little spanks. <laughs> yeah, so the best self defense is a good self offense. So I pre kick myself in the nuts every morning. <laughs> uh, that way when you, when it's done to me later, inevitably by the mailman. By the um, bus man, by 
the boss man at my job. Uh, we, I'll already have the sensation of kicked balls. It won't can bug we, me. Can we just break down this technique here a little bit? Because I know there's a few different ways of doing this. You could go from the back using your heel. Uh, you could also, I mean, I think pretty much always got to use your heel. I don't know. What's your technique? How do you get in there? Uh, dislocate my knee, then swing it up from oh. below the knee into it. It's actually like the perfect length. That's advanced. Who taught you that? Who's your sensei? Which is not a slur I've learned. <laughs> You've just learned that. So and what you were, did you actually you were using mean? it a lot? Based on yeah, you're using that's the it thing. less now that you know um, it's not offensive. The last time I was driving someone, I was yelling it at. Explain that to me. Anyways. Uh, I was taught by, yeah, Sun Tzu. Sun Tzu? Yeah, the art of the love band? War. No, he, he was a, a guy. Wrote a book. Oh, I thought that was the... I don't know how to pronounce the second part of that band name. Sun, right bracket. Yeah, he, yeah. He's, he invented Confucianism. He wrote the Connor Sutra. Which is the art of war. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Guys, I'm out of ideas. That was what? it? That you was it? You came in here saying you had ideas. Come on, man. What? Listen, I've, okay, well, I've got tons of ideas. Here we go. Here's the All idea. Right. Surprise attack. Oh, this, Jesus this, this Christ, segment, that hurt. This next bit of advice is actually, this is going out to all of our fans who would categorize themselves as a fucking idiot, I guess. The first, first measure of defense, good self-defense, is a strong password. That's right. true. Can I Are we talking that? like on computers or like a safe word? You're walking down a dark alley. You are wearing revealing clothing. Wait, no, let's, Some let's of your... this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's kind of fucked you went that far without telling us, let's do a roleplay, Jack. He's done the show long enough. He has too many ideas. Oh... Well, I'm taking the wrong way home from the office tonight. I have to go down through this alleyway. It's so much shorter back home, but, well, it's dark. Hey, I'm a criminal. I'm- oh, hi. I'm a, a victim. <laughs> this guy's Jack. really provocatively dressed. Jack, what are we supposed <laughs> to do? <laughs> ah, yeah, you guys really fucking blew it. I had a whole <laughs> idea going, and then he d- went for well, oh, the idea. Idea. No well, problem. Oh, I, got, I can save. I can save this. I can save this. Hey, it's me, Officer Safety. <laughs> this criminal. Oh no! Com- am I going to safety jail? This criminal Sneak attack. Over here. Oh, <laughs> stop spanking me, little man, <laughs> little provocatively dressed man, and listen. To, heed uh, my warning. This criminal wants to come over here and fondle you. You can tell. Look at the sweaty hands he's got outstretched. But the first lo- good thing for defense, self-defense is a strong password. Quick, ask him what the password is. He- Make it good. Me? You want me yeah, to ask? Or of he's- course. I'm looming oh. over you with my finger wagging right in front of your face. I'm so scared. I just want to go home. <laughs> Stop peeing. Uh, I don't know. Uh, applesauce. No, don't say the password. You have is to ask. Oh, no. Is the password Apple Oh, you're dead. Apple yeah, no, he can Wait, I thought you, you wanted wants. me. Oh, crap. So do I have to give you my stuff? Or are you going to kill me? Yeah, well, I got the password. That's how it works, right? He wants to fondle you. I will that's right. Stuff. I'm an officer of the law, and that's how this works. So heed my warning. Uh, Applesauce okay, well, is a I mean, bad ow. password. Oh, yeah, there's so much stabbing. Oh, ooh, I stop wish this, I'd just taken the light play. way home. Stop oh, this wow. That's so role much play. stab. I feel like Julius Caesar. Role, role play was stuck that time. Eh? It was weird. Yeah, yeah Jack, so, that was really weird. Why would you do that? <laughs> Why did you yeah, bring was this? Was that the plant? How does that help our listeners who are self-described idiots? So listeners? this was so this was set a good password? Was that what this was? It sounds like you guys might be the, the aforementioned fucking idiots I was talking about. <laughs> um, you tell me. What did you learn? Do we have to go back in the role play? I hope not. Why didn't the Is officer it, help? Well, why didn't he the did. officer help? He tried to. He, you know, he, officers of the law can only help people who want to help themselves. You can't just yell your password well, at a criminal. He's a bit of a bit of an asshole, huh? Yeah, a cab for sure. But O cab, and he's the one. 
one cop are bad. One cop are bad and it him. Yeah. I think it's all cops are bobbies. I think they're That's all British. True. They're That's true. All British, British ones are. Oh, I see. You know, we're not allowed to have guns over where I'm from, so that's why I've come down here. And lo- I saw the Rodney King rights, and I thought, that's for me. <laughs> Is there any such thing as typically British forms of self-defense, a British martial art? Fisticuffs. Have you looked into fisticuffs? just not punching each other in the crotch or the mustache? Uh, you're not allowed to hit each other in the face. Okay. And anytime somebody falls down, uh, you have to wait for them to stand up. So it's just punching each other in the chest until one person gives up. It's shot for shot. They, yeah, they last for hours. The name to me makes it sound too playful to be fighting. I, it sounds f- like something that would happen between two friends behind closed doors. And maybe they don't tell anyone else they do it. <laughs> you punch each other in the stomach and you go, is that enough then? And yeah, then they punch enough. you in the stomach and you go, what, is that what? enough for you then? I could take another one, Nigel. I'll have another, I'll have another round. And the British use that as a form of self-defense. It's like a national self-defense as everyone just abides by these rules. <laughs> so everyone's yeah. like mostly okay. Okay, that's cool. That's pretty good. Well, let's see. How would that work, say, a robber coming into a, a convenience store? Or does they say, a shop? <laughs> I guess role play it. As they call it, a stole. Right, right. Wipe your shoes off, please. I just, I just passed the hoover. It's a tall shag. Uh, no, it's an inappropriately big carpet for a sh- for a shop for a butcher's shop. As you just say, it's a fuck <laughs> carpet. In Britain, <laughs> a shag is fuck. <laughs> I know that's where Sorry, we. Sorry, I'll keep shopping. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Get, just buying my get, preserves. Yeah, get, but keep looking at my pickles and jams. Oi. What a nice looking shop we have here. Hey, Scrangy? Oh, I've got I've got a knife and not a gun in the boot. I think we could we could do something here. <laughs> Wait a it's minute. It's not that nice. Wait a minute. Will you be sarcastic about the way my shop looks? I'm very sensitive about that. Be honest, don't gas them up. It's kind of shape. Don't blow don't blow smoke up my skirt. And tell me I farted. (laughs) I'm sorry, madam. I did not mean to offend you. And it's only that there would be perhaps some terrible fin were your shop to befall some bad... uh, uh, Quick, Scrivy. Grab the biscuits. We might make off with some goody woodies quicky wicky if you know what we mean. We're going and gonna we where we stuff them in our tighty whiteies, won't we? Do you lot have like a speech impediment or like a learning disability? What, or what something? the fucky wucky did you just say to me, Weegie? We just came me wee me from a ravey wavy in a fieldy wieldy. And let me tell you, buddy, you don't want a fucky wucky with fussy. Reginald, just do what they say. Hang over the biscuits. Look, we're taking the biscuits and here's yeah. another thing. We're not paying one quiddy witty for him. Listen, you lot, you seem to be mistaken. There are no biscuits in here. This is a butcher shop and I'd like to remind you that it's very funky and please wipe your shoes. Oh, did we say biscuit? We meant brisket. Close oh. enough. <laughs> Throw him in the bag. Now. I'm, you need to tell me how much you want. Maybe in kilos. Re- Reginald, maybe you should fight him off. Stop. Stop telling me what to do. What Just to do, do some fisticuffs on him. Uh, Hit him uh, in the... Yeah, oh, right, Reginald. Biscuit. Why that don't was... you fight us? Huh? Because I'm worried you're going to punch me in my beautiful breasts. Yes, Reginald. That might happen. So think... Long and hard about what you want to do, Zuzi. Are you thinking long and hard already, Reginald? Please, we don't got all day. It's the Queen's Day. I'm oh, f- longy, wongy, finky, winky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking Arby's. Stop, stop that. No, stop them. Stop them. Think stop, stop harder, them. think longer. Stop. Smartly now, Reginald. 
We got a regular Shire Grimp over here. He's our version of Forrest Gump. <laughs> Bing bong. See, Big Ben is charming out there. It's already 1 p.m. in the evening. 1 p.m. on Queen's Day. Have you done your long and hard thinking, little Richie? <laughs> We've got to wear our big hats this Queen's Day. You better hurry, you're going to miss the big poppin'. I'm honestly not sure what you want me to do. <laughs> I, I want you to put his <laughs> fisticuffs. I'd like if to you remember, you. we'll fight him with fisties. The point of this whole role play, the universe that we exist in, is to demonstrate a practical use of fisticuffs in everyday British society. Fisty, wisty, coffee, waffies, like. What is so spooky in here? What's going on? All right, Reginald. Long and hard. <laughs> Look at me, Reginald. Come here. Uh, oh. I want you. I want you to do something for me. Yeah. Anything. I want you to think long and hard <laughs> oh, about think. whether you want to fisticuffs me or my pal Skivy over here. I'll settle for thinking short and soft at this point. Please, we've been <laughs> trapped in here for days. Is this a... Can I settle this with like a yes or no answer? Will that be enough? You think that's how the Queen wants you to do things? Oh, yes, this, no, that. There's a whole parliament. Look, yes or no. That's fine. Hi, Rochelle. <laughs> Shane's girlfriend was in the background. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Just walking through the shop, picking up a few yes, things. walking through the shop behind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you going to find us or no? Give us the answer, yes or no? Yes, I've, oh, I've put my jokes up. They're up. They're up finally. That's it. I'm coming for you. My dukes are up. Yeah, it's my dookie wookies. Oh, right. Nobody get in front of me because I'm not in control about what happens next. Except for face stuff or while you're down. Like, yeah, that's right. Obviously. Yeah, I'm not going to hit you in the <laughs> face. Hey, hold on. you got to get from behind the counter there. I can't reach you. The sneeze guard is stopping me from... Punching your gut, Reggie. Yeah, would that's you come my, round here? Can you come round the front, Reggie? My, I'm, that's my, 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 my best move. I get to use a sneeze guard as a... As a, as a what? As a punch guard. There's no way hey, we no. can get here. Oh, I also get to use these sausage links as a nunchuck, which is an exotic <laughs> weapon from China. <laughs> oh, you think I don't know that? Oh, I don't rightly presume what you know. All I know is I've been standing here... <laughs> with, with my tits out, waiting for someone to punch me. I'm going on a smoke break, a little... We don't call them smokes here, but... <laughs> right, we're going on oh. something that we can't say on this... Yeah, he's this out for we're going night. on a bleak break. A Nothing <laughs> wrong about that. You guys, the accent is making me... T t uh, feel tired in like a medical way like something's wrong get him now snake attack ah, he's vulnerable oh they're hitting you up around the berries oh my plums <laughs> so a big okay. part of British society is hitting them up the around the berries the song is still playing okay uh, I ended it Shane thank you I was scared oh okay sorry I was still in fight mode yeah you're mind. like okay yeah. that's fair that was a scary so, song Woo! Our so, longest and most successful role play. Yeah, every once in a while we didn't do it. Stuck in one. Like, uh, Don't uh, think like long and hard. Or something. Mm -hmm. Think short and soft. <laughs> yeah, use uh, use sausages as nunchucks. They're exotic weapons. Yeah, I think Reginald had a good idea with that one. Just beating meat, beating them with meat. I was confused about who Reginald was. Okay. I was confused about who Reginald was. Uh, someone kept calling me ma'am, but I was Reginald, and I, I'm pretty sure I had beautiful breasts. Yeah. But no one else I wanted to acknowledge my well, beautiful that's, breasts. Well, that's, yeah, I think, yeah, somebody said uh, we were going to uh, punch you in your breasts, uh, yeah. and it could just be that the robber was uh, confused. That's the angle I was going for throughout most of it, and I just felt like I was getting stonewalled. Um, it's like trying to describe a dream. 
after, you know? It's like, I got the general idea, but sometimes Reggie was a man. Sometimes Reggie had big boobs. And on that note, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with more podcast very important. It hurt us. Podcast very important. Podcast very important. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Podcast Very Important, the only podcast you should be listening to. It's time for that thing. It's the thing that Shane does. What do I do? Make that bullshit? You make that bullshit, dude. And this make that week, booty go pa pa pa. This week, uh, make that it was booty really go cool. Pa, pa. I got a letter from Shane, and he's gonna sing the uh, "What Did You Do" uh, over <coughs> the breakfast at Tiffany's for us. This is a special I... request from Shane. You'll say, "What did I do on the break?" I said, what about what you did on the break? You said I did something on the break. I'm sorry, Rochelle. I'm in trouble for this one. Okay, I got in trouble. I I think we're getting a victory. No, that was beautiful. That was really good, Shane. I actually, okay. I, I thought I'm that was great. I'm a bit late. Gritting, gritting my teeth. I have my finger under my shirt like a gun. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, Craig, what did you do over the break? Something really strange, I imagine. I drank a glass of water, went pee. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Good use of time. Smart use of time. Sometimes on well, the break, I won't go to the bathroom and then realize once we get back, I have to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Not this time. Craig, I got bad news. <laughs> you know what I did over the break? What did you do? Peed Say over, peed, in, peed over into a glass of water and went drink. Oh my god! So interesting. I thought I thought something was off when that glass was like a deep dark red. I would call that an. I would call that like an ochre. I think red is a bit cruel. <laughs> oh, Jack, that's bad. Yes, yeah, yeah, like a burgundy, <laughs> alarming. No matter what. That's nice of you to say. That's like remarkable. And so and is- spicy. So, so spicy. <laughs> that was the other thing that should have tipped me off. <laughs> That's the tenons. And what did I do on the break, you guys ask? Wow. No, we didn't. But no. here we go. What'd you do over the break, Shane? Did you write that cool cover? No, that was on the spot, believe it or not. I'm I believe it. I'm an improver. Um, I believe it. I, I, I learned to... Well, I figured we're doing self-defense, and I know nothing about it, so I I tried to learn a bit of Crab Maga. Crab I, Maga, uh, my yeah. favorite, my favorite, my favorite mm-hmm. maritime Scottish <laughs> chef. No, me too. What's what's Crab Maga, Shane? Uh, well, you uh, you give a crab a knife or a gun, and then you uh, <laughs> you break its arm. And you hit it in the balls, and then you shoot it in the face in front of his family. Oh, it was found wow. by the Israelis when they were invaded by uh, crabs, crabs from the Mediterranean. The coconut right. crabs. Yeah. Coconut crabs are spooky, and especially after I give one a knife. Let me tell you that. Yeah, I give a crab a knife, am I right? But after no. I hit its nuggets. What's a, what's a Tim Maga, then? <laughs> <laughs> a country Beautiful singer? singer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he... Uh, when he performs, he'll break anyone's hand. In the yeah, audience. that's my question is not what it is, is how do I defend myself from Tim McGraw? So are you cut out there, Jack? My, how do I, I'm gonna, it's not, I don't want to know. I don't care who Tim McGraw is. I want to know how to defend myself against it. Okay, and you cut it out again? So the question, the question that's okay. on everyone's, the question that's on everyone's lips is, is <laughs> I don't care who Tim McGraw is. I just want to know how to defend myself against it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know who Tim McGraw is. I just want a friend. I, think I just, what I, heard. I don't know who Tim McGraw is. I just want to know how to kill him. Okay. <laughs> we got it that time. Oh. Wow. I'm glad it was something reasonable and constructive. And yeah, good thing to yell in your apartment. Really good thing. You listeners at home, when you hear this episode, there will be no uh, like chop ups there because <laughs> Jack records all his stuff on his own. But know that 
that was a minefield to navigate. <laughs> every single time, he, he, everything came through crystal clear until the crucial bit of information came up. <clears throat> now, Connor, what'd you do on the break? Well, Shane, I... <sighs> Let me tell you, man. I... <laughs> Don't wrestle the mic there. Oh, sorry. Let Whoops. me tell you, man. I went to the f- ing- to the and I and when I was and I f- and I f- and you. Oh. And then on top of that, and he said thank you. That's why it's so wet in here. <laughs> you did that all at the car wash. I mean, that saves some time. Makes it easy, no cleanup. Um, I also ran into the little boy. Oh, God. <laughs> At this point, he's like 15, right? We've been doing this for years. Yeah, he's old enough to put in jail at this point. Yeah, like he's he's probably about 30 in boy years. But he is <laughs> very... <laughs> he's still very yeah. much a, a child, you know? Like he's, he's ra- aging faster than us, but he has not grown up. He has not matured, I'm, shall we say. I'm hopeful about this segue just because I know what the the theme of the episode is. So Yes. Defend yourself against What do you him. mean? Kill him. Kill him. Yeah. Kill what him. happened with the boy? Well, okay. So we were outside. It, Wait. It Craig, did you hear that? Be germane to self-defense. I think it was the cat. That sounds like a door. Sounds, sounds like a little boy coming into this Help! studio. I bet. Whoa. Oh! Oh! He's he brought a friend. Ah! Oh, oh my god! The friend is choke slamming the other one. Oh! I, I would defend you guys in the air. I would defend you guys, but my crab maga is useless against you. Yeah, and I'm in my smell-proof dome where I record. Well, well, well! If it isn't the two posers. I mean, poser. Are friends of the two other posers. No, I'm real. What, what could you possibly think we're pretending to be? Are these those idiots you're always talking about? Yeah, these are the idiots I've been telling you about. They look real dumb. <laughs> you guys, you boys sound sick. Is something wrong? Have you gotten into something under like the kitchen cupboard or something? We ate too many hot dogs and we got COVID. Oh, I- yeah, I would recognize germ- German influenza anywhere. You kids are suffering from it. Look at that unhealthy <clears throat> tan, that weird red brown tone to your skin. You're not even pallid. Yeah, <laughs> slightly sweaty. Look at these you- buds. <laughs> Ooh, oh. he farts whenever he wants. It's a medical condition. God. Okay, guys. Uh- well, if you're going to stay on the show, you got to tell us about self-defense. How can we defend ourselves? How do you defend Sure, yourself? man. I'll tell you. Projectile gobules. That's what I do. I send a big hunk of lug straight Ugh. from my nose on the highway to my mouth. And from I, there, oh. it takes a freaking blast off to your face. But I, so I say to the loogie. <laughs> that sounds awful. I would hit you up with a rolled up newspaper if I was there. <laughs> I would shoot you out of the house with a little broom. Okay? I'd shoot you in the head with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> All reasonable actions, considering Listen, what you just did. Can I guess your friend's name? Uh, no, I, I just want to say that I'll shoot you. Thanks for saying that. Thank you. Uh, my friend is named Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jacob. <laughs> Joke's on you! How? My name's Jacob! Is this, the, uh, is this the school system's fault? Whose fault is this? Yeah, what are your parents like? Uh, what I'm saying is his name's not really Jacob, you idiot. Gotcha! How does that make us idiots? We're not, I'm not going to tell you his real name. He's a sick bird because he thought it was Jacob. You sound like a sick bird. Okay, Jack, sidebar. Shane, okay, I don't Jack, know what a sidebar, sidebar means. Sidebar. What do you want? Sidebar, turn to me and don't look at them for a second. Okay, okay, I'm making eye contact, like in the Titanic when they're spinning. They're fucking owning our asses right now, dude. Are they? Oh, okay. They're okay. fucking crushing our nuggets right now, dude. What the hell do we do? I have an idea. I totally we'll, thought his name was Jacob, and now we'll I look like an idiot. We'll kill him with kindness. I got it. It's like reverse psychology. Just follow my lead. Okay. Hey, boys. Oh, wow. 
watch me. So watch. Do you ever see me? You ever see a guy like me unbutton my shirt like this? Wait. Oh, my oh shirt. I don't. Okay, I don't know about this guy. Wait a second. Shane, oh Shane, Shane, wait, Jack. I don't know about this plan. This Shane, is sing, good. This is sing, going on TikTok. Shane, Shane, sing "Pour Some Honey on Me" or "Sugar on Me" or whatever that stripper song is. Just do it. Oh my God! This pedo's <laughs> trying to freaking. Okay, I don't know. No, 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 no. Some sugar on me. And then don't arrest me, please. I'm gonna start self-defending. And I'm doing karate. I'm doing. And I'm doing karate routine. I'm showing them how cool I am. Whoa. So Jack, okay, what stop, is Shane. This stop, 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 stop. Thank you. The Shane. police are outside. Stop, <laughs> Shane. Oh yeah, sorry. I'm not Kids. doing anything. <laughs> Shane, stop. Kids. Kids, you hear that? The police Everybody's are Everybody's just standing here listening to you. What do you want? <laughs> Kids, you hear that? The police are outside. Yeah, that's my dad. Yeah, we called them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On you. Yeah, Jack, you might have to go to prison for this one. I... You pedo. You no, pedo no, no. right at us. No, no, no. That's not a pedophile thing. It's like a cool action movie sequence where I was doing a karate routine. <laughs> what? Hello? Is this thing on? <laughs> Elon Musk replied to her tweet, and he what said, he you're definitely a pedophile. Oh. Well, okay, he would know. He's the smartest man in the world. I should go turn myself in. I can't defend you against this kind of heat. Well, I guess it's the end of Jack Piss. It's going to end the way we always knew it would happen. I'll just go into blaze of glory. I'm going to put this... I'm going to put my shirt back on and put my hand under my shirt like I have a gun. <laughs> uh, Shane, can you sing Break Stuff by Limb Biscuit? Um, yeah, a uh, pack of chainsaw. That's what? close enough. What is Actually, this music? Chainsaw. Could, could you do dra Dragula, maybe? Skin your ass. Um, <laughs> dig through the ditches and okay, here we go. rake up the leaves and clean right, up cops. my lawn. I'm ready Dragula. to die. I'm ready to die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. They shot that. Oh, my God. That rolled. That was awesome. Wait, did Jack shoot that at the cop? <laughs> Oh, your friend's dead. We got an officer down. We got an officer down. We got an officer and a poser down. <laughs> oh, it looks like your dad shot through his friend and the idiot that hosts the show. Wow. <laughs> Two for one special. Uh, 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 oh, 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 waking up. Oh, hey. <laughs> Wait no, a take your time, Connor. Don't don't startle yourself. Take your time. Oh, okay. Uh, um, mm -hmm. Jack's dead. Wait, Jack's dead? What yeah. happened? Uh, I'm just waking up at a normal amount of time now, too. Oh, Craig. Oh. Hey, you idiots. Uh, your friend's dead. Ow. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, why would you hit me? Sorry. <laughs> Bye. They came in. They freaking ruined my day. By uh, making me feel bad, they made it a bit better. I guess they Jack killed Jack. Yeah, it looks like it. No, he had a shootout with the police. I that does sound like how he would go out. Yeah, he'll probably never be on the show again. Wait, hold on, he's right there. I can see his foot moving. Jack, Jack, <laughs> are the cops Jack, gone? Jack, my money, please. Are the cops gone? <laughs> uh, are th I mean they're they're kind of. Yeah. No, they gotta like check. I think out they're your smoking body. now. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're they're smoking. Okay, I'm just gonna keep sleeping for a bit. Okay, okay, uh, we'll put on a distraction. Maybe this yeah. is a great way to defend yourself uh, from the cops. Preemptively distract Play dead. them. Yeah, playing dead. That is a good self-defense. Did you write that down? I did. Playing Connor. dead. I did. I wrote it down. How's the list coming? We have two more, Shane. <laughs> oh, my God. Now, here's the other thing. How are we going to get our friend Jack back inside without the cop? Because the cops think he's dead. We could Put hide him under our shirt like he's a gun. We're pretending we have. Yeah. Pretend what be, if we okay. pretend to be like a Greek woman mourning? I Wait, I have an idea. Pull me in. You should be sleeping, Jack. You need to conserve your energy. Yeah, you're right. You I'm losing rest. a lot of blood. Shh. It was a great they might, shot. They might, kid, yeah, they might that see kid's, you. That kid's dad's a great shot. Yeah, drink up some of the blood that's poured out. Make sure you, yeah, so you can put, put it a back funnel in. Yeah. Put the blood I back in. Move. 
he can't move. Severed my spine. Okay, what's your plan, Connor? What if we get the kids? We pretend we're filming a TikTok. Mm. We get the kids to take a video of us, and we like move Jack's body, kind of like it's like weekend at Bernie's. We'll get it back weekend inside the house, oh, no problem. Yeah. I'll pretend. You know what I mean? Wait, so we're gonna what? We, our, our plan to get Jack back in is mm-hmm. to pretend that he's actually alive and fine. No, no, no. Like the idea is like we're shooting a TikTok with this dead body, oh, so we're doing, and we're like, oh, look at like him dance, and layers. he's like, we're, yeah. we're pretending that he's dead by pretending that we're pretending he's alive. If you want, okay. And the and the 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 cops would be like, oh, they're just filming it. Let's let them film the TikTok. Oh, we love TikToks. We actually do that more. We like that more than solving crimes. No, no, no need to waste a good mean, dead guy. Yeah, they're gonna smoke, so it's fine. Uh, okay, let me let me talk to little boys. <clears throat> hey guys, I was just wondering. Uh, hello. <laughs> hey, you guys want to shoot a TikTok? Oh my god. Yeah, actually. Yeah, that's actually kind of helpful. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, can you? Can you put on like a copyrighted song? Like a really popular song? Oh, for sure. Okay. Okay, Jack, come on. Come, like, just help a little bit. You have to get up a little bit, Jack. Dead, but you okay. have to help a little bit. Uh, you have to get up a little bit. Um, oh, he's a dead. <laughs> Don't say boy. something. He's Don't. No, sh- <laughs> Don't. Yeah, no, have do you it like Mr. Doubtfire. Oh, yeah. Let's all move oh, his mouth. You pretend, you're, you pretend you're rapping. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. I take my shirt off for the kids. Do a little bit no, of karate. No. That's it. No, 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 Jack. No. <laughs> Jack, that's how we got into this mess. <gasps> Okay, I'll try something else. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Jean Bonnet, Jean Bonnet. We hardly knew ye, Jean Bonnet. I'm sorry, I get too choked up. I can't do it. Also, I'm still very, I'm still very sick from getting shot. We're only like halfway in. We need okay, more TikToks. All right, here. We- no, 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 no. I refuse. Last time I did something of my own volition, I got shot. Oh, whoa. Guys, the cops just left. They said that we were being so cringe they couldn't take it. Oh, okay. That's a good self-defense. That's exactly right. And you know what, Shane? <clears throat> what? That brings us... What? Tell me... To the top 10 number ones for self-defense. Uh, okay. Number 10. Oh, good. You knew that? I was hoping. Good. Number 10, a good self-defense is a good self-offense. Kick yourself in the nuts every morning if possible. Number That was nine. a really good one. Who came up with that one? I can't remember. Number nine, okay. sensei is not a slur. Uh, sense, sensei Tsu invented the art of love and war, the Connor Sutra, and conf- <laughs> confusionism. Uh, number eight. Set a strong password, but don't tell the muggers. <laughs> uh, number seven, fisticuffs is a very British way to fight. Uh, you can't hit in the face. Uh, you can't hit someone when they're down. You can only hit them in the breasts. Number six, don't think long and hard about self-defense. Think short and soft. Number five, you could also learn the great Israeli martial arts, Crab Maga, where you give a crab a knife and he'll kill your family. It was developed by Tim Maga, the Israeli country singer who breaks people's hands in his audience. Uh, number four, a great long range um, defense is a loogie projectile. If you can keep one of those stored up in your nose, get ready to lock it into the chamber and out into the mouth. Uh, it stings. It gets in your eyes. The little boy did it to me. It hurts. <laughs> Uh, it's not good. Uh, number three, Jack did it earlier. Play dead. Uh, sometimes it's good just to play dead. People will think, oh, he's already dead. He doesn't have any money. Number two, put the blood back in. If you can, if you're leaking a lot of it, try and lick it up. It'll get it back in you. If you could do it fast enough, who knows? Maybe you get more blood than you started with. And number one, the top ten number one most important thing you need to know about self-defense is be cringe. Nobody wants to fight a fucking cringe lord. They're like, oh, I don't want to end up in a cringe compilation. I can't be anywhere near here. That's right. I want to yeah. thank uh, oh, Craig God. for being here, for getting slapped. Craig, do you have anything to plug? Uh, yeah. Um, my face hurts a normal amount, and uh, you can check that out uh, next week when it's better. Great. Uh, and, of course, Shane Cooley and Jack Piss. I think we did a great job today, guys. 
Uh, I beg to differ. <clears throat> You're doing fine, Jack. Uh, I, was he talking about him or was he saying we did a poor job? Okay, he's about to have to defend himself. Hmm. I would never dare. Okay. If there's one thing I've learned about clear. this episode is 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 play dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm not defending myself. You are looking all. very pale. You have lost a lot of blood. Despite the blood, I thought that would bring like a rich red, rosy hue to my face. No, well, that is what's there. There's just none in your face. Is what I'm what I'm okay. getting at. On my uh, face. Uh, I'm Connor Doyle. This has been podcast. Very important. Rate us five stars on Apple Podcasts and leave the following review. We can't ever get back to what we wanted from ourselves way back in the day okay so leave that review uh connor gave up what oh that feels good Oh, I could keep going if I wanted to. No, I'm that's a competition. Just, no, that lost. was really, I was actually really good at it. I was thinking and I was like, it's a I'll competition go easy. And you lost I was actually time. like, I'll go easy on Shane. Uh, this has been podcast very important. Uh, uh, funny and I win. <laughs> <laughs>